So, if you all haven't been paying attention, it turns out Elon Musk is not a very good person. He's he's quite a baddie, and he's done very bad things. Both, he's a baddie in the sense that he's aligning himself quite a bit with the fascies, uh, but also in that he's really bad at everything he does. Uh, just not a very talented human being. Uh, definitely someone who has had the good grace of falling upwards a lot of his life. Uh, there is an alternative to Twitter called Blue Sky that a lot of people have started to really like and have enjoyed using and being on. And it's now become this big thing where everyone's really, really looking to uh, join and get inside. And no one has invite codes. I don't have an invite code. I have not had a single one yet just to, to get ahead of this in case people are going to flood me with like, what, what about the invite codes? The invite codes, though, for Blue Sky are one of the reasons why it is such a wondrous uh, little thing right now and special. And I'll explain why. The invite code strings that have allowed Blue Sky to go from its initial like, you know, 20 to 30,000 people to 40,000 people to 60,000 people to over 100,000 people almost now um, is in large part a lot of people of color and queer uh, folk. A lot of them. Lots of people of color, lots of queer folk, and otherwise allies uh, of those two groups. Now, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people have been kind of like, uh, it, it, it's it's just too commie or something like that, right? Um, it's also running very, very well. It's a very simple interface, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I think it's also like picking up so much speed. But there's this problem, and this problem happens to every single social media company at some point or another, where the people who run it uh, are conflicted about the free speech and the Nazis. Because you see, there have been some pretty fucking bad people who have gone into the site and they don't have a great time there. They are usually a couple moves away from outing themselves and suddenly being like, oh, this is communist. This is all, this place is swarmed with communism or something like that, right? Anyways, this incident just went down. So update, the Blue Sky CEO took to the platform to defend this Nazi specifically, saying it was okay because the violent ideation about pushing back against a black, or violent ideation above pushing a black woman off a cliff was a quote metaphor. The Nazi responded by posting an expanded, more detailed version of the violent fantasy. What a surprise. Like, do you think the Nazis are ever going to be good faith? You think the Nazis are going to, like, play by your rules? You think the Nazis are going to be like, well, I do want to uphold the benefits of free speech. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to perhaps not do violent death threats uh, towards black people. That's maybe, maybe I'm going to take a day off uh, from this one. Blue Sky has really managed to show its happy willingness to tolerate explicit racists in record time. They've taken zero action against this very ac uh, active white supremacist troll, even when she advocated for pushing a black woman off a cliff. And again, it gets down to like, well, we, we do have to determine whether or not we have a free speech because free speech is the most important thing but also we do care about and want to protect members of the community especially if they are part of marginalized communities um i don't know how it happened i don't know what the magic moves were that got so much of black twitter onto blue sky in such big numbers or so much of uh, queer twitter uh onto blue sky i've been trying to uh you know find and, and move some of native twitter over there too but i still don't have any invite codes so i can't do that um but whatever made that phenomenon happen is the reason why it's special. It's the reason why it fucking, I'll be honest, it's a lot of fun to be on and it's so goddamn addictive because it's like a whole bunch of people who feel like this is one corner uh, of the internet uh, where there isn't a whole bunch of like Nazis, uh, you know, chasing them down, telling them to unalive themselves and, and they can actually have fun and post hole. <laughs> be completely honest <laughs> just like there's so much horny posting on there as well because uh i guess a lot of people feel safe i guess a lot of people feel oh well you know what i i could be a little bit a little bit more liberated uh with uh you know my sexuality and, and, and enjoying showing it off because uh there's not a whole bunch of nazis chasing me around and fucking telling me to unalive myself while also simultaneously masturbating in other words, the Nazi did exactly what the Nazis always do when they have platforms like Blue Sky fail to explicitly ban hate speech. She kept escalating violence in ways what, uh, that the platform just can't moderate with the acknowledging that context, namely white supremacy, matters. Blue Sky finally banned the Nazi for this detailed extension of the murder fantasy, and they could have avoided this whole thing if they just listened to the black women.
Platforms have to ban hate explicitly. When they don't, the Nazis will just keep finding loopholes in the terms and harming marginalized people. Of course, of course, they might they might uh, start changing, uh, you know, how they spell the N word using different characters and stuff like that uh, to get away with it and bend the rules and all that kind of stuff. But they're still fundamentally Nazis. They're fascists. They're people who are, uh, you know, interested in elimination projects and stuff like that. And the and they will hide behind uh, terms of service. They will hide behind freedom of speech. Uh, people who want to enable them will also hide behind this ultimate freedom of speech argument that always keeps on fucking showing itself and resurfacing in every corner of the internet, no matter like how much we fucking see the same patterns happen time and time again. The same shit keeps happening, but you're still gonna see that, ah, oh, but it's, it's really important to have the free speech. We, we love free speech, we do. And by the way, I am free speech man, okay? I hope you all know this. I love the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. It's one of my favorite amendments. And I also go, uh, sorry, an amendment. Uh, uh, yeah, it would go by an amendment. Yes, yes, sorry. I, I will so uncorrect myself. Free speech man knoweth uh, and, and saith and, and alloweth uh, the, uh, the U.S. to saith. Um, but I also recognize that uh, I got some privileges which, uh, which have made parts of my experiences online, even as a massive public figure, because, uh, yeah, you can, you can become famous on the internet in one way or another, uh, but there are still things that I notice happen uh, very almost universally to people who are racialized in society, because I'm not. I, I don't get racialized in society until people find out that I have a native mother, uh, and that either, either has to be because someone else told them, or I have to say it out loud. Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very easy for me to hide amongst the other white people, because I'm white. Yes, I'm, I'm very white-skinned. Uh, but I do notice what happens to people who are already racialized in society, and how that's weaponized against them. It like, yeah, it breaks my heart. It, it's fucking vile. And I see it happening on fucking Twitter and all these other platforms. And like, so I, I, I need to say something about that or bring attention to that uh, because I don't suffer uh, under those same terms of service. Uh, and it's like, it's fucked. It's very fucked. And I think that um, like, honestly, this is so uh, upsetting if Blue Sky goes down this, this road because it is kind of right now in this weird, like it's showing you a, better possible future when you have a lot of people especially people who are marginalized queer folk lgbtq plus folks stuff like that uh in a, an environment uh, where they don't feel like people not uh want not want them to exist anymore where, where they don't feel like like we're t like we're talking nazis we're, t we're talking people who have extremist rhetoric we're talking like you can still have conservatives on a platform you can still have conservative voices on a platform but if you have people who fundamentally don't want other groups to exist and will enact violence or promote violence towards that happening that'll encourage other people to do it yeah the fascists at the gates um that you don't have to hide behind free speech you don't have to be like well you know who will decide who is and is not a nazi i was like well uh, you know, right now we kind of live in a day and age where they're very proud of being Nazis. They're not really like hiding behind other titles like, oh, we're the alt-right. Teehee, teehee, we're the alt-right. Yeah, we're different than the right wing. Yeah, we're not fucking... No, they, they have swastika tattoos. So, so you can tell there, right? We, can, we, can start, we have a bar. We have a bar. So for people who are saying out loud that they're Nazis and getting Nazi fucking memorabilia and Nazi tattoos and doing Nazi shit online, uh, we know they're Nazis. So we, we can say, we can start there. We'll, we'll start there and don't worry, there's gonna be some push and pull. There's gonna be some growth here, okay? Social media is very complex. How human beings interact online is also very complicated. I get that. Infrastructures, uh, ones and zeros, a, a series of tubes underneath the internet. I, I, I know what this all is. Okay, fine, fine. I, I too will speak the language, but Nazis, that, that, the, the, the out and proud Nazis who are, who are saying to marginalized people uh, that they don't want them to be alive. Can we start there? So maybe here we can expand upon what is a Nazi. And when people do Nazi shit, you know, trying to encourage the elimination of other groups for the superiority of the white race doesn't have to be said out loud for that to be the end result of this, right? Like, you, you can see where the, it's going. There's, not, there's enough clues we now know. We can use sophisticated algorithms to detect the Naziness of this. We, we can have Nazi uh, detecting AI. Let's let's go with that. And, and we can scale up with this kind of stuff uh, and also recognize that, yes, that there will be a couple people who, who get caught into stray for using uh, uh, epic memes. They maybe meme a little too close to the sun in their Nazi shit, uh, and then we can start to discuss and filter that aspect right we can we can grow and expand upon that I, I think these are all very reasonable things to just be like 
Let's not let Nazis on the platform. I, I don't I, I don't think that one's outrageous. You can still love free speech. I am free speech, man, okay? But I can also recognize the real world violence that these motherfuckers do. I want uh, free speech for everyone. And um, Nazis having free speech uh, eliminates the speech of a lot of other groups. That's that's the rub. That's how this, that's, if you want to understand the logic here, if you allow Nazis onto your platform to do Nazi shit, they are going to threaten and scare other people, marginalized communities. And that's what they're going, so you're going to limit the speech of other people by allowing them on. By allowing Nazis to flourish, you limit the speech. So it's basically at that point, who do you want to stand up for whose speech? Do you want to stand up for the speech of the Nazis or do you want to stand up for the speech of the marginalized communities? That's that's what this all comes down to. Uh, here's a threat that finally got Al uh, Alice the Nazi banned from Blue Sky. A content warning, racist violence. Um, I used the racist term in the Anglosphere and threatened to personally... Uh, I'm not going to read this out loud. Fucking disgusting. Uh, Avita stood up to a racist in a very public way and did some very traumatizing work for free. It would be nice if folks could send her some funds so she can kick back, order some food, and decompress from all that. Absolutely going to share this. But yeah, I again, not, not fucking complex we can we can do this we have the technology we have i think a pretty good understanding socially that we can all agree upon the nazis were bad nazis bad so we can start there i know there's this really big like fear that a lot of white people have where it's like well i mean uh, is this going to be about the cancel culture morality police what if they come after me what happens then when the, then what do i do uh Let's have a bar. We're adults. Let's have a conversation. We can say and start the bar at like Nazis existing and people who want to commit uh, acts of violence towards marginalized communities uh, that probably shouldn't have a platform to do that. Probably shouldn't have the amplification power, you know? I thought Blue Sky was going to have an enforced TOS. They they do. I mean, like, it's really neat because you're watching a whole social media ecosystom grow from the like ba bottom uh, baby parts up like uh they, they're just now adding some new features but there's really just two tabs on blue sky there's the people you follow and if you swipe the what's hot section will just promote very popular skeets uh, and that's just it's super simple but in its simplicity and the fact that it's only text and and pictures uh something about that just like some charm of this whole little like not noisy social media app makes it so fucking addictive but again in large part due to the fact that there's a lot of fucking super awesome uh people uh from uh, different communities, uh, like, uh, you know, people from the black community, people from the LGBTQ plus community uh, are dominating so much of the, the conversation, having like a very big voice on, on a social media platform is playing out in wondrous ways. It's it's really, uh, it's really nice to see um, what the future could possibly be if uh, communities who are marginalized feel safer and, and get to interact with one another uh, in the, like, the most positive and horny of ways. Um, it, it's, it's very, uh, it's, it's very wholesome in, in that way, you know, but they also got to scale up by the way. Like I, I, the fact that no one is getting the invite codes and everyone wants to be on there, give people a fucking raft, give them a raft to get off of Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is so horrible now. Like it's, it's filled with Nazis who knew that would happen, but it's fucking filled with Nazis and like they're just like the reply people of everyone and now we have Nazis that are verified that just go to the top of the posts like every post for me is just like all these fucking you have blocked 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 like anyone of like a popular person I go it's just a long list of fucking block lists do you enjoy the surfs but prefer not to have to use your eyeballs many are saying this well we've got the solution for you it's the surf times in podcast form available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out, apparently, and it's free, just like the podcast. To our gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Juice, we shall spend many a generations building mighty cathedrals in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are but your oafish jesters, here to offer you a laugh at any opportunity. To our brave knights of the round, Rachel K, Izzy Solidarity, Victoria Bell, Sebastian Demel, Mark Harmon, Benji Arney, Scary Earth Human, Tony, DM Rivera, Resident Scarecrow, Sir Nickus, Cheryl Alvarez, Ruby Kelly, Brandon, Words Greenwood, Everything Important, Hegbird Celine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariane McCarthy, Doug Katie, Daniel Sutton, Jenna Tao, Dark Puppy, Quiet185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, 
Riley and Anna, Poodle Hawk, Multi Mondi, Trevbot EXE, Brian Ephraim, Anthropophojack, Catherine, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, Ralph Parler, Violent Orchard, Political Puppy, La Media Panza, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We salute our valiant heroes off to fight injustice everywhere.